The police will go looking for the real killer. They'll find the real murderer. A gun? You're pulling a gun on me? Hey, don't you think that's going a bit too far? Kill him, huh? But put it away and let's talk. You want a drink or something? I, uh, I, I, I admit that I've made some mistakes. I was just kidding about the things I said. <laughs> well, we can work everything out if, if you just cool it long enough so we can talk things over. Come on, it's not too late. Say something, will you? Talk to me! You're thinking about it, aren't you? Yeah, of course. You don't want to go through with this. You do this, and you'll be in big trouble. So, 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 so put the gun down. Put the gun down. No. Don't. Please. I'm begging you. Don't. Give me a chance. Don't! Don't! By delicious Slim Fast Nutrition Bars. Tonight, Three outspoken women of Hollywood, Deborah Winger, Elizabeth Taylor, and Betty Davis on the Barbara Walters special. Then memories are made on Oscar night. Don't miss the 59th annual Academy Awards live tonight at 9, 8 central. Wednesday, he was just your average kind of guy until he met the cutest girl in town. Bo Bridges stars in Can a Guy Say No? An ABC after school special. Erica discovers who is threatening her life. Stay tuned for All My Children, next. Miss Baylor, I'd like you to tell us about the last conversation you had with Nick Donatos. Nick had just found out that Tricia was seeing Steve on the side, and, well, he came to me to find out more. He knew you'd been helping them meet secretly? Well, he figured as much. I denied it, of course, because I knew how violently jealous he'd get, and I, I knew he'd make Trisha suffer. But he, he beat it out of me. How much did you say? I t told him everything. And I prayed to God Steve and Trisha would make it and get as far away from him as he could. Then what happened? Well, the next thing I knew, Gus was following orders to throw me in a car and drive me on the outskirts of town. He, he dumped me there. But uh, I managed to hitchhike back so I could warn Steve. Why? Well, somebody had to help Trisha. I mean, if he did that to me, what do you think he'd do to her? Direct answers, please, Miss Baylor. Now, when you got to Steve's place and told him, how did he react? He, he was as scared for Trisha as I was. Scared? Are anxious to charge right in and get Trisha away from Nick, no matter what he had to do. Wasn't he angry? Yes or no? Yes. Did he leave for the casino immediately? After his wife and his father begged him not to. So, in spite of being begged to stay, Steve left. Now, he must have been in a highly emotional state. Would you say he was rash, violent? I don't know. Angry enough to kill? Wasn't he so determined he'd use any means necessary to protect Trisha? He was hell-bent on rescuing her, wasn't he? Yes. And what happened next? I went back to the casino. I thought maybe I could still help Trisha if she was in trouble, which she was, because Nick had locked her in his apartment. How did you help her? I got Nick's keys. Ava Rescott was there. She was trying to do the same thing, and together we, we were able to get her out the same way I got in. 
Now tell us about the gun. When I, I was looking for the keys, I, I found a gun in Nick's desk. I gave it to Trisha in case Nick tried to stop her. A 38, according to records. Now, Trisha claims she dropped that gun as she was leaving. Do you recall ever seeing it near the rear entrance when you were leaving? No. Do you have any reason to doubt that she dropped it, as she claims? No. Now, you didn't leave right away. Could someone else who might have used that back entrance before then have seen the gun and picked it up? Someone sneaking into the casino, for instance. Steve Sawalski. Is that possible? It's... it's possible, but I... Now, what did you do after you helped Trisha? I, uh... I went back up to my apartment to get my things. I, I heard what sounded like a gunshot, so I, I, I ran downstairs to see what was happening. What did you see? Nick was shot. And Gus was rushing towards him. He, he was just lying there. Did you see Harry Sawalski? He was in the back over to the side. He, he didn't see me. Nobody saw me. Was anyone else there? Did you see anyone else downstairs? Did you see who fired the shot? No. One final question. Could it have been Steve Sawalski? I don't think Steve killed anybody. That isn't what I asked. Could Steve have possibly found the gun near the back door, picked it up, and used it on Nick? And then could he have gotten out of the casino without ever being seen? I, I guess so. Yes or no? Is it possible? Yes. All right. I can't talk to the grand jury, but I won't sit back. There's got to be something else I can do to help. There's nothing you can do. The real murderer is out there. Maybe I can find out who it is. No way. Look, Tricia, take my advice. Don't start playing amateur detective. You're in deep enough as it is already. Yeah. Sam's right. Just stay out of it. It's too late for that. Look, Tricia. I don't want you getting hurt anymore. You think I'm not going to be hurt if you go on trial for a murder you didn't commit? I'm not letting this happen. Would you let me handle this? Steve, I'm not going to stop until you're free. Now, I might as well start talking to people right away. All the ones I know who had something against me. No. I love you. I'll be back soon. Trisha, I don't want you doing this. I see. How are you holding up? Okay. Would they uh, call you to testify? Yeah. yeah. I don't know what I can add, but my lawyer said to show up, so... Look, whatever I can say, I'm gonna do my best to make sure it comes down on your side. Yeah, well, thanks, but, uh, you know, I confess, so it's pretty cut and dry. Yeah. Well, I think I'll, uh, see if Mr. Fletcher has any words of wisdom. Steve, I'm sorry. I don't have a choice. I have to testify. It's okay. Oh, I love you. Cease. I have to talk to you in private before I go in there. It's about my testimony. Jamie Pies, sweet first friend. Jamie Pies. Meet Play School's Jammy Pies. Six adorable first friend. I just know that Steve is innocent. And I am going to find out who the real killer is. You only confessed to protect Trisha, didn't you? I know it's true. Uh, see, there's no Steve, point. Steve, wait. Hear me out. I could prove that you're not the murderer. How? I lied on the witness stand once before, and you ended up in prison. I could lie again, and you would end up completely free. Cease, what are you saying? I could tell them that you came right home after Nick threw you out of the casino that night. What? 
And I could say that you were with me the whole time. So you couldn't have killed Nick. You do that for me? Steve, I love you. You do that to make up for lying about me raping you. I wouldn't do it for the past. I do it for the future, yours and mine. What? I do it so that we could be together again, Steve. So that you'd come home to me. But you'd have to forget about Trisha. Forever. Now, after you and your wife returned home from the Alden mansion, you had a visitor? Yes, Trisha showed up. In what condition? She's in pretty bad shape. She was uh, upset, exhausted, crying, almost incoherent. Almost, but not quite. Now, what exactly did she say? Nothing that made any sense. What? She didn't say anything that we could understand. She just got more and more hysterical. Finally, my wife went down the hall, got a neighbor of ours as a doctor. He came and gave her a sedative so that she would calm down. What did she say before the doctor got there? She was on the verge of collapse. Didn't she say something about wanting to find Steve and save him? That they had to escape? Yes or no? It was something along those lines, yes, but I wouldn't put any faith in anything that Trisha said at that point. I'm not interested in where you think I should put my faith. I'm trying to establish for the grand jury what happened on the night of the murder. Now, was Trisha talking in terms of trying to find Steve so they could escape? Yes, but she said nothing about Nick being dead. Yes or no answers will suffice. Now, I'd like to know if you think it's possible, yes or no, that Trisha was trying to find Steve and escape because she knew he had murdered Nick. Did you hear the question? Yes, I heard it. Well, is it within the realm of possibility that Trisha wanted desperately for Steve to escape because she knew he had killed Nick Donatos? Yes or no? I suppose it's remotely possible, yes. If you give me an alibi, it'll just make Trisha look guilty all over again. Also, you're keeping the jurors waiting. And nothing but the truth, so help me God. Please sit down, Cecilia. of Stephen Sawalski? That's right. As such, you should know better than anyone why he wanted Nick Donatos dead. I'd like you to tell the grand jury why. How long have you and Steve been married, Cecilia? Seven and a half months. Now, prior to that marriage, Steve was an inmate at the Ridley Correctional Center convicted of statutory rape on charges brought against him by you, is that right? Yes. And he was released because of a deal you entered into with Cabot Alden. That's right. A very complicated deal hinging partly on you recanting your former testimony? Yes, but... Now, I'd like you to tell the grand jury what happened when Nick Donatos found out that information. He used the threat of having Steve sent back to prison to blackmail Trisha Alden into staying with him. Cecilia, do you love your husband? Yes. Does he love you, or did he marry you out of gratitude? He... Uh, he cared about me. But he... He was on the rebound. He thought that he had lost Trisha forever. In other words, he was still in love with her? Yes. And then he found out that she still loved him and what Nick was doing to her, and... And he started meeting with her on the sly, didn't he? They, um... They were gonna run away together. And leave you flat. Your marriage vows meant nothing to him. Your love, your loyalty, everything you did to get him out of prison didn't mean a thing. He said that he'd always loved Trisha. 
And that nothing would keep them apart. And indicated he'd get her away from Nick if it was the last thing he ever did. He was des desperate. Desperate? Is that what you were going to say? Tell me about the night of the murder. Steve and I were home, and the doorbell rang. It was Jenny. Jenny Baylor, the assistant manager of the casino. It was horrible. Nick had, had beaten her up in her face. It was bloody and swollen. She came over to tell Steve that Nick knew everything about him seeing Trisha and that they were going to run away together. She said that Nick had Trisha locked up in his apartment. And what did Steve do? He tore off to rescue the woman he loved like a man possessed. Isn't that right? Yes. Did you try to stop him? Yes, but he wouldn't listen. I was so scared. Because you knew he'd stop at nothing, not even murder. I just had this awful feeling that something terrible was going to happen. Like one of them, either Steve or Nick, getting killed? Cecilia. Yes. I'm sorry. Well, you don't have to be sorry as long as you told the truth. I feel terrible. Well, it's not your fault. Steven Sawalski, you're called as the next witness. All day. Do you understand the function of a grand jury hearing, Mr. Sawalski? Yes. Let me advise you, you have the right to refuse to answer any questions. I know, my lawyer told me. Have you ever served time in prison? Yes. On a charge of statutory rape? Yes. Now, that charge was overturned, but it still exists. Are you aware there is a distinct possibility for a new trial? Yeah, my lawyer told me. Now, the grand jury has already been made aware that the murder victim, Nick Donatos, learned of the deal used to effect your release from prison. And he used this information himself to blackmail Trisha Alden. Is that correct? Well, he said that he'd see to it that I was sent back to prison if Trisha left him. So you had two reasons to hate Nick Donatos. His treatment of your lover. Miss Alden is your lover, isn't she? This hearing is not about her, Mr. Plus Prescott. Plus the fact that in all probability, he could have sent you back to prison. Prison didn't matter. The only thing I cared about was Trisha. So you were determined to get her away from him. That's right. How far were you prepared to go? I would have done anything to get her away from that creep. Mr. Sawalski, you were questioned by police Look, on March 20th. Let me just get this over with so everybody can go home. Just ask me what you want to know. Did you kill Nick Donatos? Yes. I already gave my confession to the police. Will you verify this as the confession you signed? Yeah, that's it. This afternoon, he was just your average kind of guy until he met the cutest girl in town. Bo Bridges stars in Can a Guy Say No? An ABC After School special. And tonight at 9, 8 Central, secret hopes, shattered dreams, and darkest fears unfold on Dynasty then sometimes life can get a little crazy. And just over the edge, there's a place they call Mariah, premiering tonight. Adam has a new plan for revenge. Stay tuned for All My Children, next on ABC.